Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So uh, this will be a sequence of videos showing you how to create a character, a rigged character turnaround. Um, I know a lot of people want to know how to, to do that. And I'm basic, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that. But uh, this is not going to be in one video. I, you know, I thought about it, and if I was to do it in one video, it would be very long. So I'm going to be breaking this down in a series of videos. Um, I'm not sure how many parts it will end at, um, but we'll be doing this like a a physical classroom sort of setting where I won't be posting all of the videos at once. So um, you'll get a part of the video each day as we we go um, as we go on. And and this is to help you to digest everything that you've learned in each video um, easily. Um, and uh, you know have time to like practice what you learned in a specific video before you move on so with that said let's get into it uh, so in this video I'm just going to show you how this character was made up um, uh, the first thing though is let me turn off the character and show you the um, the turnaround sheet so when you are doing stuff like this usually you design your character um, design it to see how it would look when at different angles right so this is what's called a character turnaround uh, so here I have um, my, all my drawings for the, th the turnaround um, so you can see what's happening here the front view this is a uh, three-quarter right um, then he's looking to the right and this is three quarters back uh, and back and of course I could have had the three quarters back facing left but um, for that I, you know you could just use this one and flip it and then make some alterations to it so I didn't b uh, bother to do that and it's the same for the character looking to the left as well you know you could just use this one and flip it so it could be look facing this direction to complete the turnaround so you could actually see that um, complete you know character spin All right but this is where it starts um, I'll be posting this on my patreon um, you know so my patrons will be able to uh, use this um, if they want so yeah, uh, I decided to call this character S-Droid. I really wanted to call it Syndroid, but you know, I did some research and realized that Syndroid was already taken, uh, which is unfortunate because it's a really cool name. And uh, if it's not obvious already, uh, this is based on Synfig, right? So um, the, the way the character is designed, uh, if you look here, this is essentially the shape of the logo, the, out, the outer walls of the logo. And if you should actually put the logo over it, it would and scale it down, it would match up to from his the, his toes here going all the way up here, all right? So yeah, um, it took me a while to reach this stage in the design, right? Uh, I went through I went through a couple of iterations, um, but this is where we are now. Uh, so yeah, so this is where it started. So let's get back to the character. Um, so let me break this down for you. Um, show, show you what the different parts are uh, so if you notice the character doesn't have eyes um, well technically he does but the way I decided to make this character work is that his eyes would just sort of um, come on like a screen and it will be able to change uh, for the turnaround I won't be putting that in you know just to simplify things because most um, most designs anyway would probably have eyes and nose and stuff like that, right? Uh, but yeah, so let's just dig into this. Uh, so here I have a couple layers. Uh, let me just show you what a few of them are. So I have a, a head layer, right? That, in, that has all of these, the section of the heads grouped within it. Um, in that I have the head only that, you know, only have just the, the contents for the head inside here, right? Um, and I have a nose, the nose is separate, which is here, right? And I have different substitutions for the nose. So if I should go down here, 
uh, you can see that Z, Z range is selected and that you can change the nose using these values. So there we have, you know, a side nose. And uh, I designed this so that when the character turns to the side, his nose will change to this one. And uh, you know, you, you can create more, well, when you're doing a turnaround, it's, it will look far more seamless if you design your, your character with multiple um, parts, like multiple noses, multiple mouth shapes. Well, not for, maybe not mouth shapes for the turnaround, but um, essentially you you want to do that um, if, if you want to have a seamless turnaround. But for the sake of this, uh, our tutorials here that I'll be doing, I only have one other shape for the nose. I have only one shape for the mouth currently uh, because that's all that we'll need. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and change that back now. So, I think I accident, oh, so go back to the nose and put this back to zero. Okay, um, yeah, so next we have a folder called face only, right? And in this, we only have the mouth and the eyes are where the eyes are supposed to be. Okay, so again, my character doesn't technically have eyes. It's just a screen and his mouth. And I've made this metal frame a part, or metal looking frame, a part of his mouth. All right, so all of that is a part of his mouth. And all of these I've grouped together in one group so that I can move them um, together. All right. So, you know, and we can see what that would look like here if I move them. Okay. Um, now you might be wondering why I didn't place the nose in the same group. Uh, you can, um, but notice that the face, the, the, the entire face is being cut off right at the edge. Uh, I don't want the same for the nose, right? I want the nose to be able to come off and then, you know, give it the illusion of it going around the, the head. So I decided to leave it out and we'll just use a bone and apply um, parent both the face and the, the nose to the bone when we get there all right so that's that um, next we have the ear which is the left ear and I have different shapes for the ear as well all right so let's have a look at that so if I change the Z range position all right you can see there's one ear there I think I think it might only be one shape Okay, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it changes um, according to the turnaround. Of course, the turnaround I've used as the guide, it's not, um, of course, there are differences on the final model as pertaining to the turnaround, but you know that the turnaround is used as a guide to show you where different items will be um, at different stages in the turnaround, okay? Um, so we have the right ear and it's the same thing. I have two different shapes of that. Uh, we have the upper body, which is this, all right? And we have the lower body, which is just a circle. And we have a folder called the left arm, which contains the, the hand, the lower part of the hand and the upper part of the hand. So if you look here, we have the hand, lower arm, and the upper arm and it's the same for the right arm we have a folder that has all of these grouped and i'll just turn them off so that you can see we have the hand the lower hand and the upper arm okay uh, next we have the leg and the leg has the upper leg and the lower leg uh, i decided not to give him any uh, toes or foot Right, so it's only two parts, being that he's, you know, kind of a, a droid. Um, so if I, let me just turn this off so you can see. So the upper leg has the black part as well as a piece of the blue. Okay, and the lower leg has this piece. Okay, uh, and it's of course the same with the right leg. So the right leg has these contents and the lower leg has these contents 
okay um another thing that i want to point out is that for each part right um i've placed especially where the character will be bending i've placed the the well i don't want to call this a pivot point but i've placed the even though essentially it is i've placed the green point um within the center of the the the, the parts that will be bending so if you notice right here if i rotate rotate this it bends at the center and it doesn't look out of place right that's because um the it has been placed in the center so it has a perfect rotation well not nothing is perfect but you know as close to perfect as um you would want it right so all i did was to just to move this in the center uh and how I did that, I did that with the, with the help of a guide. Um, there's a tutorial on Synfig's, um, Synfig's documentation. In Synfig's documentation that help, you know teaches you how to do this using the arm and how the arm bends, right? So what I did was I created a circle with a cross and I placed it um, when I was creating the leg and I just made sure that the lower part of the leg the lower part of the leg sorry um the top part was going over here right in 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 a perfect circular for, format right so the lower part would be let me actually sketch this out so the, the lower part would be going over here right and now with the upper leg i would bring the base around this part so you'd get this look Right, and then so when you rotate either of them, you have a per perfect rotation, um, right? And of course, you place the point within the center here, whenever you're doing it, right? So you just place the point within the center, um, so that you get the perfect rotation. So uh, yeah, so that's how you would you would uh, you would do that. Um, what else is there? Let me zoom out. Turn this off and turn back on the S droid. Um, and yeah, I, I believe that is it for explaining the different parts, right? Um, you're more than likely your character won't have um, some of these parts, or you know your character would again have eyes and um, other parts. But you, the setup is pretty much the same, right? You create your eyes, your eyebrows and you would place them within groups they, they don't have to have the same names but make sure that the names make sense okay um i i will definitely be placing these files on my patreon when i'm done right so those who are interested you can get them there right um, but i won't be placing them there until the end of this mini course or mini well yeah i'll call it a mini course in uh creating a character turnaround um so yeah remember and I, let me just go over this remember it all begins with a turnaround sheet right you need to be able to visualize what your character will look like before um while it's turning around at different angles before you go ahead to uh, and create your character in in synfig okay that's very very important um it does help all right and with that said, I'm looking forward to the other videos. I hope you guys are as well. So I will see you in the next video. Yo.